Good morning everyone. Thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, this one is going to be a bit long so grab yourself a coffee and plan a bit of time because I'm going to try to go in depth on that one a little bit. Um, yeah, today I'm going to talk about basically my favorite lure um, at the moment. Uh, I've been, I've been, well, I've been fishing those lures for about two years now and I'm the more I'm fishing them the more I'm enjoying fishing them and uh, the more catches and the more results I'm getting the better I'm getting at fishing them so yeah I'm going to take a little bit of a dive into glide baits today but first of all yeah glide baits they're part of the family of the swim baits pretty big family and uh, we're going to go through all that one by one and then we're going to talk about the glides and stay till the end of the video because I have some bonus video from yesterday. I went out fishing with a couple of clients and uh, we did hit quite a few pike. I think we, we had 36 between the, the three of us and I, I only fished half day because I had to come back and walk at the lodge. So it was a good, good morning, good producing morning and all for me on glides. So uh, again, thank you very much for all the latest subscribers because this week we had uh, quite a nice jump. So I think we are at, let's see, yeah, 360. So thanks for joining the, the group. Press like and all that stuff. And uh, thank you very much for all the new subs and the support for all the old subs. So yeah, glide baits. What um, we're going to start basically with swim baits. The uh, what is the the main family? So swim baits. Basically, a swim bait is something that you'd have nothing to do. You just really it moves by itself and you catch fish. It's uh, really easy for for especially for beginners. Uh, but the nice thing about swim bait fishing is that the more you get into it and the more you're going to start to see the difference between between different swim baits and when to use them and how to use them. So the most common one that a lot of people are used to to use and see it's it's the rubber one, be this one or a pig shad or anything like that. Uh, rubber swim baits are really really popular at the moment. If you look anything like on the on the videos on on YouTube, all this competition fly versus jerk and all, a lot of it is rubber swim baits that they're using and to good effect because they are good lures but i sometimes find them a bit boring to fish so so the other part of swim baits that we have we have um the one like the uh, i suppose the slider or the big bandit this this would be uh, considered even as a glide because they they tend to go to the side when you when you walk them with the rod not so much when you rock them with the with the reel they just have a, a tight s action like that uh, a little bit like the the westin swim and the uh, the, the salmo slider um i consider kind of part jerk part swim bait um they're kind of little hybrids to me i fished a lot of time with 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 uh, jerks and i uh, had a really really good success for jerks that's why i think the the glide is a succession from the my my passion that i had for jerk fishing and jerk baits um it's just that presentation of the bait on the side really drives bike absolutely mental and you can really push the boundaries especially with the glide bait uh, we're going to get to that in a minute so the other part that we have uh, would be the multi-jointed swim bait so i'm talking this kind of guys one two three four section whatever they can have a lot more sections um i mean you have the the Spro BBZ, this is a custom one made by a good, very good friend of mine. Um, basically, they have the swim that these guys have. It's like, a, we call that a flag swim. So they move like a flag in the wind, let's say. Uh, pretty good swim bait as well. Really good results. This is the new Shimano Yasei. I think, yes, the Yasei. Really, really good one. I don't know if we can get a little bit of it. Yeah. This is a nice one, nice pearl white finish, this one. Um, I'll be doing a review of these different lures one by one if you're interested because the the, the, the Yase is a, is a brand new one. So now we're gonna get to the to the crispy bit, the, the glides and what I, what I consider being a really true glide because you, like I said, some people would consider uh, something like this a glide 
because they do they do have a turn to the side and a little bit of a glide but they don't glide far they're 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 heavy they're they don't have a really good swim they're only a one piece lure uh, you could have hybrids like this this is considered like a glide as well because they walk side to side and when you hit them with the rod they tend to go to the side shoot to the side and finish gliding to the side but they don't have to me they don't personally they don't have the true value of a really true glide um, what do i call the true glide well, it's basically a base cut into usually right in the middle and uh, you have different ones uh, you have cheap ones and that's where the it's going to get a little bit tricky for some people to to, to digest because um, all these glides most of these modern glides come straight from the bass fishing uh, in the states and in japan and we start to see like more and more expensive lures uh, coming out but some of these lures have real quality to them compared to what we buy here uh, i would consider like really cheap one to get into glides like the the savage gear glide uh can't remember the name of this one but this is like maybe what 15 20 euro i think uh they do glide uh but the problem and what i see between a, a premium glide bait and, and and what i would think like this is a cheap one um you'll see it in the details and the swim i mean if you speed uh, if you speed the the swim on this one if you need to 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 do two or two or three turn of the reel fast to get a pike going they're going to blow out uh, the swim's going to turn they're going to jerk they're going to not swim properly and to an experienced fish to a big fish that could be a put off that and usually it is a big put off sometimes not on a smaller fish because they're they're still juvenile and a little bit dumb they don't know better but um, usually i try to to hunt big fish um, I'm, I'm lucky here to have a really good fishery in ireland and i have that luxury to just target big fish if i want and yeah sometimes these ones they they, they might lose their swim and they might put off a pike uh, a big pike a big wise pike so these would be the budget swims, uh, I would say, that you get into. And after, you have basically three prices now. You have like the budget one, like the Savage Gear. And then you go up to the more expensive one that I'm going to show you now. And then you get the really like custom handmade one where you could go like two, three hundred euro a lure. Like, you know, but if you want to spend that much, it's up to you. I mean everybody's free to use their wallet the way they want but um i want to show you the tree that i have at the moment that i'm really really impressed with they would be considered here in europe like kind of premium lure because they range between between some money uh, uh, i'm going to give you the link by the way of uh, where i get all these lures because they're they're, they're they're hard to find in 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 europe there's not too many shops that do them uh probably afraid to, to have a stock of these lures and not selling them but um, i get all my lures from lure de la pêche in france and uh, the guy thomas is is a true gent and uh yeah, he has some really good lures that you don't find anywhere else. He really tries to dig and find the, the newest things and, and have them in stock in his shop. Uh, really good dude for uh, shipping rods. I mean, he ships rods for, for really nothing. Uh, I fish a lot of uh, one-piece rods now, and uh, he sends one-piece rods from France for like 10 euros. So I don't know how he does it, but really, really good value shop. So I put the link underneath, and uh, you can go and visit and see the price of these lures. But basically, these lures, yeah. They would range between 30, 40, 60, up to 70 euro, like for the for the more expensive ones. I can see a lot of people starting to get, uh, but trust me, the these lures are just balanced to the gram. They're really, really precise uh, piece of engineering. And it's all in the details and the weight of these lures. Um, I will explain after how you can uh, customize uh, different lures. That'll be another not a video, but as they come from the box, they're pretty pretty versatile. So the tree that I like using, we have first one. Uh, this is uh, I can't remember. This is from Storm. This is the IQ. IQ uh, is there a name on it? Let's see. Storm. 
a rashi that's it that's the storm rashi nice perch imitation uh, a good thing with these lures is that they also have i'm trying to focus they also have swivels mounted in the in the middle of the lure and this is this is really really good uh, because these lures are quite chunky so you don't want a pike to to be able to to pry himself and and, and lose a fish because of that and it could be really handy as well uh, for your for your hands when the pike start trashing you can hold the lure and the pike trash and doesn't really hurt himself too bad thank, thanks to the swivel so it's a good addition to have that on those premium lures um, the second one that uh, I will make a separate video for for this one and the next one I'm going to show you because I think they deserve a video on their own because they're pretty pretty good this is um, Spanish made from uh, Roberto I think his name is this is the Glideway 176 this is a little beautiful little lure I really really like that one I would have loved to have the swivel uh, on the hooks on this one as well unfortunately there's no swivel hook but this is a really really good glide it has a fantastic swim and it's cost you can customize the weight and I will go through the, the customization of the these lures in the next video because I want to talk to you about this lure a little bit more. So that's a, another really, really good glide. And to finish off, like my, my rumbling and all that, uh, the top, number top, number one uh, glide is definitely the Chad Chad, KGB Chad Chad. Now, this lure is pretty special. Um, this lure was made uh, and still is made by KGB Swim Baits. You can find them on Instagram. Um, the guy that's making them uh, started in his garage making a few custom lures for bass fishermen uh, in the States. And yeah, they started winning big prizes, big competition, bass masters. And, and now, now everyone has a KGB swim bait in their boat. Like, and there's really, really good reason for that because they are fantastic. Now, unfortunately, to get a real KGB swim bait, um, I think they release maybe 200 at a time. Now he has a, a few employees making them by hand. Quality is still fantastic, amazing on these lures. I have, well, I, I guess it is because I haven't put my hand on one because unfortunately every time he does a lure drop, um, yeah, there's about maybe 100, 150, 200 lures that come on the lure drop when they finish a, sec um, a batch and they're, they vanish in, within seconds on the internet. So really, really hard to put your hands on one. They probably retail second hand, like double the price than a new one. But uh, the good thing this year is that Spro uh, got a partnership uh, with KGB and now they're making the Chad Chad a little bit more mass produce different colors pretty cool um, and the difference between this one and the others is basically the angle of the break that you have you see this is this is a pretty pretty strong break uh, compare that if you if you look like another one like this you have a much much more important break in the tail like this and that's that's what uh, we would call the chop bait because the advantage of this lure is that um, and the advantage of all swim baits and especially this one is that you can nearly fish them on the spot um, any other lure you have a line that you bring back towards you and uh, you can only judge the speed of that so a rubber lure you can reel in really slow even if you do a pause it will still come you and reel in again so you still have a linear uh, speed with these lures that a bait like this instead of traveling uh, back to your rod this rod this bait just travels up and down up and down up and down and really stays in the area and move on up back up to you so the advantage of this bait is that it creates a lot of commotion because this this swim side to side move a lot of water and the bait stays in the area and because they are so well balanced it, they don't really sink too much uh, they stay in that area messing about and this is great for pulling big fish uh, i've been catching this on this from from fish coming up from like maybe three four meters five meters deep 
uh, if they're hot, they really come up to see this bait because uh, it's something intriguing to them that uh, really looks very natural. That's the other thing as well about this premium bait is that I have so many, so many takes on the drop, on the pause, on the extremely long pause uh, because they stay so natural in the water. They don't blow out. They don't stay broken. Um, it just fools fish time and time again. This, this and this is why now I'm I'm just I'm just in love with this bait. Uh, really like fishing them, and I think they worth their money. Um, so uh, the other thing, yeah. So I fish this bait in different situation um, above weed beds. Uh, at the moment, the weed beds are dying. We still have a lot of bait fish in the weed beds. This is perfect to go over the top of weed beds. Uh, I can fish that over a drop off because like I said, you leave the bait in the area that you want to for a very long time. You can do a very nice pause because the thing doesn't sink too fast. Um, the other the good thing as well, if you fish beside like, a, like say um, a nice um, tree, a stump or something, an obstacle somewhere that a pike might might hide or on the river just around the bend that you know it'll be a good spot for a pike to hang. You can really leave that bait in front of that, that stump for quite some time before it comes back to you. And that fact of like sitting there, it just drives fish mental. They have to come up and look at what's going on because sometimes if you have just a lure passing in front or even doing a pause and you can't really do a pause too long because you're going to get stuck on the on the stump. Uh, so you still have to reel a fish that's not really hot. It might just look at the window and go, you know, maybe on the third or fourth cast, you might have an interest to come. But a glide, a true glide, it'll stay in front of his face and either way it's going to drive them mad or it's going to drive them away. Another thing as well as reaction strike is that these lures uh, during the pause, they not only break to the side, but they come back towards the pike. And uh, that's more than often is a cause for, for a reaction strike because when the lure comes and face the pike, it's that, that's something they're not used to see. So usually they have one of two options they usually usually hit the lures 85 percent of the time that's what happens if there's a pike following or they get scared and spooked and they run the other side but usually they have the reaction of what is that doing and smack it and that's it you get a good a good hit on it um what can i say about it yeah uh let's see i have a few few notes because i don't want to miss everything on the video uh we don't yeah the the difference between the cheap one and the premium one and that again i'm not saying go buy an expensive lure you can start with those ones see how you get on and if you get into it you will see the difference between these two 100 percent, you will see that there's there's a difference in it um, because you can change the grammage a little bit by wrapping a little bit of lead wire on the on the hooks or, or like the other one you can customize them by they, they have little slots uh for for weights to to be sticky weights to be put in and um, basically a couple of grams would make a huge difference on these things uh, how they sink and uh, yeah they're really 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 well balanced i can't i can't say about how, how good they are so well balanced that's why they have such a good imitation on the water of, of a fish like it, it really looks natural so what else do i have to tell you about that um yes what gear do i use for that okay so you want a, a good multiplier reel for this uh, because you're gonna work those I work those mostly with the reel, rarely with twitches. Uh, I might put a twitch once in a while in it to give it a more uh, accentuated glide, but most of the time you work this with the reel and you make it tuck, 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 move side to side, longer pause. And for this, you, you want a decent multiplier for two reasons. Uh, they're big lures, they're heavy, they can be heavy lures, so you really want something that's going to crank nicely with good gears in it, and you don't want to, as well a, a reel that's going to give you a backlash. Um, 
make sure you don't get backlash because if a bait like that snaps and you see 70, 50, 60 euro flying off into the distance, uh, it's not a pleasant feeling. Um, the other thing as well, yeah, braid size, uh, I would start with something like 60 pounds. So in case you do have a backlash and uh, you start with, with a, let's say a budget multiplier, you don't want to lose your, 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 nice, your nice lure, uh, start with 60 pound braid. I like to go a little bit lighter. I go about 50 pounds. I go 23 kilo. Uh, I like using uh, Power Pro 23 and 23 kg just slightly because there's less weight on the line and uh, because they are so well balanced. I don't want to I don't want to compromise with a, a thick a, a line that's too thick. Same thing with the with the the leader leader uh yes i'm using fluorocarbon a lot of people would be surprised because i always moan about fluorocarbon but this is one of the situation that requires uh, fluorocarbon first of all because it's lighter than titanium or wire so again question of weight to let that bait absolutely as free as possible uh but i don't use anything and i mean it i don't use anything under one mil uh one millimeter thickness 1.2 is my go-to, 1 mil would be my finesse fishing. And as soon as I feel a nick or a little bit of abrasion on the fluorocarbon, I just change, right? Um, another thing as well, I don't use snaps uh, on all my lure fishing. And when I target big fish, never use snaps. Uh, I put um, a welded loop at the end of my fluorocarbon instead of a snap. And I equip all my baits uh, with, a, with a split ring. And this gives you absolutely no option to fail. Uh, snaps do, op do open. And uh, yeah, I've, I've seen many stories of good snaps opening or breaking. So split ring that's the way for me for 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 lure fishing um i i sometimes tend as well to tie my 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 braid directly onto the fluoro and leave quite a long bit of fluoro maybe 50 60 centimeter uh and not put a swivel at the end of the of the le of the leader just again to cut the weight and cut uh, the swivel pushing down onto the fluorocarbon uh, because you really want this this bait moving as freely as possible so they look so natural um what else well that's that's nearly about it if i forgot something i'm really sorry i think uh, i covered a little bit uh what glides can do for you but to me yeah um it's it's a great lure it's fun to fish uh especially if you fish with the slow sink one you can fish them and you sight fish these things and it's an absolute delight to sight fish these things you see them swimming coming back at you pike behind following um yeah it's really really nice and uh, yeah so thanks very much for watching guys uh yeah enjoy i'm going to put a little bit of a blog uh, the few fish that we caught yesterday thanks for watching subscribe um uh, Thanks for all the support in the channel. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you the next one. Bye. What a hit!
fish on the glide. Absolutely smoked it.
nice fish.